We spent a long time overseas promoting the record, and then I came back to England and then realised that everybody knew who I was. It's intense having like a hundred people sort of pushing towards you. I think that's the time where you're like, oh shit, things have changed. One of those things was like pressure from record labels or the media. I wasn't used to having that on my shoulders. There's a big cost that comes with, you know, touring a major crew and having record labels and all the rest of it. And they're all expecting you to deliver night after night after night and you're the focal point. I'll be really honest about it. I'd never experienced anything regarding mental health. A lot of things changed very quickly. It's only really been within the last two or three years that I've seen anything be raised about the issues of this within the industry. You, know, you see some of the biggest names in music who have sadly lost their lives because of the stresses that they were under. Once you've got to a certain level, that opens up a whole new can of worms when it comes to like mental pressures and social pressures. It's now I've got people to please. I'm not just pleasing my fans. I've now got to sell more records. I've now got to do bigger tours. I've got to sell more tickets. And that's when you get into that situation where it's like, like, can I do this? Um, my name is Jeff Barrow. I'm a music producer, mainly known for my band Port's Head. In 1997, we went on tour, I reckon, for it was over a year, maybe a year and a half period. We also, because the Verve split up, we ended up headlining a lot of festivals. And that was the first time that we'd ever got that spot that all of a sudden we were a headline band. But what happened was the pressure just became too much. And then I started having huge bouts of anxiety. I really didn't think we were a headline band. Being in the spotlight as a musician sometimes can be the greatest feeling in the world. But then other times, if you've got to walk out in front of a big audience and you're feeling particularly anxious or nervous, it's the last thing you want to do. 